Hi everyone, welcome to Real Science Challenge. I'm Kent Louie, science teacher and talking head, broadcasting from beautiful Vancouver, Canada. And today I want to share this resource with you, an activity I've been using every year for the past 18 years of teaching. It's an activity that teaches students about Mendeleev's periodic table. Now, if you're looking for an activity that teaches students that elements on the periodic table are grouped vertically by similar properties, this worksheet is for you. Now, if you want a free copy, and by the way, handouts to my videos are free, it's available at realsciencechallenge.com EP31. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. First, I want to thank the person or persons who created this activity, which I copied and pasted onto a worksheet. You know, I found it online 20 years ago during my practicum. This is during the early days of Google and before we can download files easily. And I've been using it ever since, every year since I've been employed. And it's been so good that other chemistry teachers use it as well. So thank you, person or persons who created this. And unfortunately, I never got your names. As for the activity itself, there is a front and a back side to this worksheet. And on the back side, there's a partially complete periodic table. And the periodic table is vertically grouped by properties. For example, uh, this column over here, column number one, has lithium, sodium, and potassium. And if we look at the properties, lithium is a soft metal, a good conductor, and reacts with water. And looking down the column, we see sodium, the same, and potassium, the same as well. Now, there are also blanks right here, right here, right here, right here, on this periodic table. And so did Mendeleev's table. And that's why Mendeleev's table was so amazing. It left these blanks that predicted other elements. Now, on the front side of this worksheet, there's also another table, a table of unknown elements, unknowns A, B, C, D, etc. Now, we place these unknowns on the table here. We do so by looking at the properties of these unknowns and matching it with the other columns. Right? For example, um, let's see, element G here, over there, is a solid that is soft, a good conductor, and explodes in water. And that sounds like it belongs in the same column as sodium, potassium, lithium. However, if you take a look at this column, there are these two blanks. So where would, where would G fit in? Now, to determine that, we can look at some of these other trends, like trends in melting point, for example. Uh, in this column, uh, melting point seems to decrease as it goes down the column. So therefore, um, the metal or the unknown element with the same properties as this list, but with the lowest melting point would go down here. Now that's what I like about this worksheet as well. There are these small trends that excuse me, small trends that students need to observe. Now students usually take about five to 10 minutes to complete this, sometimes a little longer, and then we discuss it. Now if it sounds like I should have found some other way to teach the periodic table in the last 18 years, you know I have, but this worksheet has always been a part of those lessons. Even now, uh, I haven't been able to find or develop anything quite like this. And I still, to this day, can't find this anymore online. So thanks again to the person who originally posted it. That's it for this episode. Please let me know if you've tried or I'm trying this with your students. Handouts, once again, are available at realsciencechallenge.com EP31 and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and let's talk science again soon.